Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Apex tutorial on user validation. In this session, we'll discuss about two functionalities. The first functionality is how do we get the current user details, the one who logged into the Oracle Apex. And the next one is how do we validate whether the user is a valid user in the Oracle Apex or not. So there are two methods which we call it. The first one is to get the current user, we'll use a PL SQL logic and the API, the standard API called Apex underscore custom underscore authentication dot get username. So this particular function provides us the current logged in user. And using this particular method, we are setting the value of this user to a particular text input box. And the second one, how do we validate a logged in, how do we validate a particular username as a valid or invalid? So in the Oracle Apex, we have a table called Apex Workspace underscore Apex underscore users. So in a given workspace, so whatever the username, if at all, if it is a valid username, it has to be available in this table. If it is not available, it is invalid. So using this logic, what we are doing is we are trying to check it out. If the query provides Y, it is a valid. If the query does not provide, if the query provides Yen, it is an invalid user. So a very simple functionality. So let us see the working application and then we'll try to build it from the scratch. So I'll just show you the existing application which I have built. So here I have logged in with the user, sridham.erp tech at gmail.com. So that's why it is showing this one. And I have a user, let us say, I'll try to enter an invalid username like test. And if I click on validate, so now let's see what does it provide. So it provides a valid user value as yen. And also I just provided one more functionality called the switch. And the switch will be off if at all the value is yen. Let's say if I provide a valid username, Jane, and if I click on validate, so the value of the valid user will be Y, and also the switch will be enabled. Okay, so now we'll try to implement this particular functionality from the scratch. So I'll just go to the app builder, and I'll click on create. This particular step will create an application now. Validate Apex user test and click on create application. Now we'll create a blank page. And in this one, what we do is we'll create two regions under the body, create region and also one more region. So there are two regions we created now. And the first region we will call it as current user details. And the next one we call it as validate user details. In the first one, we'll create a text item, nothing but a page item. And we'll, we call it as P logged in user. And we also, we will, make it as a disable. We don't want user to modify it. And this is the one. And on the load itself, we want to load the value for it. So what we do is pre-rendering before region, I'll just create a new process. Now here we'll execute our PL SQL logic, which we have shown in the presentation. So the correct current user will copy this one and here we'll paste it. And of course, just check the parameter name. So it is P logged in user. So I'll just change it accordingly. P logged in user. So now what will happen once we run this program? So for now, we'll just try to save it. And let's try to run it. So let's see what does it provide in the output. So I'll try to log in first. So here it provided a logged in username, okay? Now the next one is in the validate user region, we'll create two components, three total three components. The first one is the place where user will enter the data, username. And next one, we'll create a flag, valid user, Flag. Next one, 
will create a new page item which is switch and next one will create a button so we'll call it as validate user and now we'll create a process we'll go to this particular one and here the what we do is we'll create a process now so in the processing we'll just right click here create a process now we'll name it as validate user process and now what we want to achieve is like here we can just call this logic so we can copy this and here we are just trying to pass the username input and this query returns a value and that we are assigning to the this particular validate flag so we'll just assign here and the first thing is you need to change the parameter accordingly so here the validate flag is this one validate user flag let me name it properly yes so this validate user flag will have a value either y or n so this is the one and now the username input is provided in which parameter p2 underscore username so i'll copy this again and change it accordingly and click on the process and here so this is the one and we also want to set the value of a switcher right so now what is a switcher item name p2 underscore switch so what i'll do is click on the process we just set the value of switcher so p2 underscore switch and v underscore flag and now this particular process we want to call it when a user clicks on the button so when a button is pressed and which button the button name is valid validate user so let's try to run it yes so now let's say i'll try to enter an invalid user let's say invalid user click on validate user and now the value is n and also the switcher is not enabled let's say i will enter a valid user and click on validate user button and it should be y now and also switcher should be enabled and if at all if you want to make the button is a blue color you can set it as hot yeah so this was the button yeah appearance hot that's it So now let's say I'll just change it and I click on validate user and they are disabled. So this is how we can validate a user and also we have seen how do we display the logged in user details in the Oracle Apex. Thank you.